Hello and welcome to my channel. And today we'll be discussing the things that I use to study for the CPA review. Currently I'm studying for FAR, which is financial and reporting. And this is my first section of the CPA exam. So I haven't taken any of the sections currently. Um, I'm in the MBA program and I recently got my MBA grad certificate and I'm five classes away from the full MBA. But I decided to go ahead and jumpstart and study for this exam and start taking it. Because if 2020 has shown me anything, it has shown me that time is short and it waits for no one. So I decided to stop being a procrastinator and go ahead and start studying. So this is an Erin Condren notebook. Um, I love Erin Condren products. This video is not sponsored. I'm not getting any commission for this. I'm just telling you raw and true what I'm using. So I use an Erin Condren notebook and I'll put a link in the description box in case you wanna order this too. I have one for each one of the sections. And as you can see, you get them personalized. And this is the uh, metallic silver painted petals. And I ordered each one of their colors in this design with it personalized for the CPA, my CPA review notebooks. And it's by Erin Condren. And this notebook is a dot grid. So all of my CPA review notebooks are dot grid because I like to be able to have space to do what I want. I don't wanna be constrained with lines. So I don't wanna be confined. So I'm using a dot grid notebook and the paper is extremely thick and there's no bleed through and they're perforated. So if you wanna take a page out, you're absolutely fine to do that. And it comes with these dry erase boards on the front and the back covers. So, I mean, it's really convenient and I love this. And the company that I'm using to do my CPA review is Becker. So I got the Becker system. Now she, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, she expensive. Becker is very expensive, but I did the demo and I've asked, I'm part of the CPA society uh, as an auxiliary member in my city. So I asked CPA, people who passed the CPA exam recently, what did they use? And it was pretty mixed. So I won't say that there is no company that's better than the other. Like I won't say Wally is better than Becker or Surgeon or Rogers or any of the rest of them. It depends on what fits for you. So I did the Wiley program, the demo, because Wiley, my textbook for my MBA and for my undergrad, some of my accounting books were written by Wiley. So I'm like, okay, they do my accounting textbooks, so they should be able to get me ready for the CPA exam. That was my philosophy. And they do it in bite-sized pieces. I don't know if you know, but I'm a whole cluster of a mess. I'm a full-time mother, full-time student, full-time employee, and now I'm studying for the CPA exam full-time. So I, I can't do bite-sized pieces. I need something that's aggressive in your face, something that's I can't procrastinate with. And Becker is that for me. So I am using Becker. It's working for me. I'm in, I put these tabs on here, but I'm in chapter three thus far. And the review is going well. I, I like the people who do the lectures. They are hilarious, funny, but serious when needs to be. And I thought the CPA review was gonna be easy because I'm an accountant. I have my associates, I have my bachelor's and my MBA certificate working on the full MBA. But in doing the CPA review, it is not easy. So there's the philosophy that says, if you don't use it, you lose it. And that is very true. Like some of the things that I'm learning, like I, I learned it in school. I passed the MBA with a 3.8 GPA. So I'm very knowledgeable and I do it for a living. So I'm very knowledgeable when it comes to accounting. But this CPA review has been kicking my butt. And I'm just going to be transparent with you. It's kicking my butt. So it, it's not hard. It's just a lot of information. And if you don't know, each part of the CPA exams are like four hours long. And it includes multiple choice questions and simulations. So this is a lot of information that has changed. Like 
accounting rules change all the time. FASB can issue a new ASU, you know, standard. Like when I was in undergrad going into the MBA, the revenue recognition changed. So now, you know, there's five steps to revenue recognition. And it's just a lot of changes. And you also have to learn IFRS. And we didn't really do a lot of IFRS in undergrad. MBA, yeah, we delved into IFRS, but not to the extent of this book. So, I mean, it it's a lot of information, but I like Becker because they piecemeal it to you. Like, it's not bite-sized pieces like Wiley, but they give it to you and, and they ensure that you understand it. And the way that I'm studying for this is, okay, so first I thought I was going to do two chapters a week, study two chapters a week. My life, that ain't happening. So how I study is I do a chapter, I do the review because Becker does like, you can do these reviews with multiple choice questions and simulations that mimic the real CPA exam. So I do the review and if I don't get a 90 or higher, I'm not moving to the next chapter. I'm going to stick with this chapter until I get it, until I study it so much that I know it inside and out. And I'm I'm not doing it to memorize, but I'm doing it to understand if I got something wrong, why did I get it wrong? Why were the other answer choices not correct? So as I said, I'm using this review tablet and I'm going through each chapter in each module. And so I do a, a page flag because blue are your acronyms, orange is important. So in going through the CPA review, if they said this will be heavily tested on the exam, or if I do the multiple choice questions and I got like six questions that are on the same thing, that's important to me. And I do write it down. I do write what multiple choice questions I got wrong when I go through them. And green is formulas. So I love this notebook. I love everything about it. One thing though, it's the eight and a half by 11. I call her Big Juicy. She is big and juicy. I can't really lug Big Juicy around with me. So I went back to Erin Condren and I got a smaller notebook. That's the seven by, by nine. It's the same size as the Life Planner. And so I got it customized again with my name and accounting down to a CPA so that every time I look at this, I know why I'm studying. What am I studying for? I'm trying to be a CPA. It is what it is. That's what, that's my goal. That's my aspiration and I'm going to do it. So in the book I have, I made like a little bookmark using the Aaron Condren Core Clips that list out all the chapters, what the name of the chapter is, how many mods are in each chapter. And yes, this is heavily decorated. This is more like my on the go CPA review slash journal. So as I'm studying, I do cutesy fight. She cute. I do decorator because even though I'm writing it in here, repetition helps me. I know how I study. I know how I learn. I learn through repetition. Keep putting it in my face. Keep remembering it. Keep reading it. Keep going over it. So this is what I take on the go. Um, I'm in the office two days a week, so I do take my tablet with me. If I go to my mom's house or anywhere, my tablet goes with me. I am studying this. This stays home. She doesn't leave the house. But that is what I'm using to study. And of course, my calculator. They don't allow, that I know of, they don't allow you to take calculators to the CPA um, exam. So I got rid of my little fancy schmancy cal calculator and just got a little dollar store cheapo calculator and this is what I use for my review. So this is what I'm doing to study for the CPA exam and I will post a video of me actually studying so you can enjoy this journey with me. If you're thinking about becoming a CPA, if you're studying for the CPA exam or any of those natures, we can do it together. This is a struggle. I didn't think this was going to be as much of a struggle as it is, but it's definitely a struggle, but it definitely pays off in the end when you get that license. So welcome to my journey. And if you're going for the CPA or if you're thinking about it, 
Stop thinking about it, do it. There's no time like tomorrow. Tomorrow isn't promised. Let's get her done. Thank you for watching.